wagashi, a traditional Japanese dessert characterized by its delicate and artistic design. These sweets are not only visually appealing, but also reflect the rich cultural heritage and natural beauty of Japan. Wagashi is made using meticulous craftsmanship and utilize century-old technique passed down through the generations. These confections are crafted with great attention to detail, combined to the finest ingredient to create harmonious blend of flavor and texture. The design of wagashi are often inspired by nature, featuring motifs such as flower, leaves, and seasonal themes. Each wagashi tells its own story, reflect the changing seasons and tradition of Japan. Wagashi is not only meant to be enjoyed for its taste, but also for the entire experience it provides. It's often served alongside a cup of green tea and symbolic harmonious pairing. The act of savoring wagashi promotes mindfulness and an appreciation for artistry involved in its creation. Can this DTT Sobermas live up to the name wagashi? This is the DTT Cigar Dojo's Sobermesa Wagashi Review. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way Hey guys, Tony Story Sass Sass and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we are doing this DTT Cigar Dojo Sober Mesa Boule Wakashi, which is uh, 6x50. 6x50. Uh, it comes in a box of 13 MSRP 17.95 a cigar. Quite expensive, quite expensive. Um, this one is provided to me by Lotus. He sent it to me a while, a little bit back. Um, when he asked me if I want to review it, I was like, yeah, if you don't mind me complaining about this cigar, then by all means. <laughs> and he sent it to me. So here we go. There we go. Now I have to say this cigar already look bent to me i don't know how but it's bent to me uh the the colors inconsistent there is dots all over it and they say this is selected tobacco really the rapper's ecuadorian connecticut shade i don't see any shade okay uh the binder is san Andreas. the filler is nicaraguan selected grade only so i don't know this is just basically a pressed version of the Brulee Blue, I believe. Uh, and they want to call it Wagashi. Now, I have very, very, very strong, strong thought about Wagashi. I grew up Japanese, right? So uh, I eat a lot of Wagashi. So what, what Wagashi is basically, Wa means Japan, Japanese. Anything Japanese, you have word Wa in front of it, all right? And Gashi is um, confederate, you know, dessert. And those desserts are usually made out of bean paste. All right, those kind of dessert is made out of bean paste. Uh, for example, they saying that this is represented and try to make a shape as yokan. Now, yokan are rectangle, but it's way fatter than this. And yokan, that entire thing is a gelatinized red bean or green bean or something like that, bean paste. Uh, it could be also, um, I believe, chestnut, uh, yam. Um, you can, you can, it's all thick, sweet, 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 sweet stuff. All right. And majority of things, I use this as an example. Obviously this is not Japanese, but it's, you know, it's the same idea. This is a mooncake. Um, but you know, in Japan, they will make something like this. I don't know why it shows that weird color. This is actually pink. So, um, they will make something like this, similar to that. Uh, this is just very Americanized wakashi inside is. I'm believing bean paste. I don't want to open this, but it's bean. So that's what wagashi will have looked like. Yokan is 
technically wagashi, but not really. Wagashi you can buy in the wagashi store, but really, is it wagashi? Uh, I wouldn't consider that wagashi because wagashi are very, very beautifully made. It's always some, there's a thing to it. And yokan usually don't have my thing. It's a piece of gelatin red bean. And I love to eat it. It's sweet as hell. It will give you sugar high immediately the moment you eat it. So if this thing does not give me the same kind of flavor, uh, I don't know if you should just, no, come on. I know cigar dojos like that. They like to do Asian stuff. They like to use Asian name, but do man, if you can't represent it, don't do it, right? So we will start with the review. Now this thing's got a pigtail. It's got a foot band. Oh, no kidding. Oh, what? Okay, it smells like bean sweetness. That's not even like I thought it was my finger. It could be my finger, but it smells like that. It smells like some sort of sweetness. It does smell like if it's one of those sugar rub bean cake thing. Yeah, it was a little bit cedar. What the hell? All right, all right. I give you that plus one point kind of thing. All right, all right, I don't know what to say about that. That's kind of unexpected. Yeah, smells so sweet. Okay, all right. Not defeated yet. It's definitely sweet, Cap. Come on. It's sweet. The size not. Yeah, the Cap is sweet. Come on. I can't believe that's still an argument right now. That what or not is sweet cap. This is definitely sweet cap. Cold draw tastes like cedar and <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Old drawer. It tastes like cedar and old drawer. Ugh. And a piece of just fell into my throat. Ugh. All right. Let's turn the fan on. Inside fan and outside fan both on just in case. All right. Let's go. And I'll do this really quickly because I had to go watch innocent and uh, and 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 eric hashimoto uh, blah, blah. eric smoke one if you have one that's why is it hashimoto eric smoke one if you have one uh they're doing a podcast right now so i'm gonna try to do the review and watch them at the same time because that's what we usually do we just do the review and then we will do something else while we're smoking it so to make sure i have the right pairing Ah, I'm pairing with a Japanese green tea, jasmine green tea, itoen. Don't so don't tell me that I'm pairing the wrong stuff. Oh gosh, it goes with green tea. Maybe not so ice green tea, but I, but I don't want to drink hot tea right now. Pepper, cedar, a little bit of creaminess. Ends with a little bit of bitterness. That sweetness is like caramel sweet. That's pretty much it. What? Yeah, it's just, it's just sober mesa. <laughs> it's just sober mesa away, basically. I don't know what I'm expecting. Am I expecting like red bean or chestnut cream or something like that? 
<laughs> no, but... Yep, tastes just as boring. Mmm. Alright, let me smoke one third. Be right back. Okay. One third. I don't know why I'm expecting or I'm hoping or whatnot. This thing tastes like sober miss uh boule and nothing else really it's just box press with a different band on it i think and it's not nicely produced let me show you first of all burns kind of wonky number two i don't know if you guys can see it this cigar is not evenly pressed ready if you see on the top side this side goes down goes in you can see the indentation goes down you see the shadow here and this side pops up you can see this pops up so this side is round like ooh, ah! this side is round this side dents in so it's not a like properly pressed cigar it's just cedar right now it's not even sweet anymore Kind of have like a mouthfeel of sand. Definitely not what you expect from Wagashi. Should be savory, sweet, decadent. <clears throat> Just another word here, okay? Because I used the Americanized version of the Wagashi. Technically, Americashi. <laughs> but Wagashi is very expensive. Wagashi is very expensive. If I was to buy one of these in Japan, what? 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 Um, one of these in Japan, this piece will probably cost me $15, $20. Okay. So they're very expensive and they are very decadent. They're very sweet. They're very tasty. They're very beautiful. You just even look at it. Taking a bite makes you feel bad because you'll get a piece that looks like a sakura. And go, oh, my sakura is missing a leaf. And then you have to eat the rest of them. Okay. It's a very luxurious, you know, Kyoto traditional kind of thing but this cigar doesn't make me feel that way this cigar lotus don't kill me but like it's, it's quite boring this cigar is quite boring medium strength like it, it feels funny on my hand because it's not symmetrical this side goes in and slant it like, I don't know, can you see? It's not even. See, round, round, dents in, and it's like slanted a little bit. And then this side is round again. It doesn't feel, <laughs> feel good on my finger. I mean, the bends are nice. I actually like this like a uh, lime neon green. I mean, it does it does look pretty good. Definitely not a green tea color, but maybe representing a wasabi color, not wagashi, wasabi maybe. So yeah, first they're kind of boring. It literally there was some sweetness and it smells good. So I give you that. Like when I smelled it, I was like, ooh, that really smells like something that I can expect something cool about. It really smells good. And when you light it up, nope, just a cigar. <laughs> I don't know what I'm expecting. I just had a, I had a dessert today too. It's just like, you know, I'm looking for something sweet because I didn't eat a lot. So, um, yeah, so far, medium, uh, but tastes like a $9 cigar. So, we'll continue. Second, third, be right back. All right, second, third. Tastes exactly the same, nothing changed. Kind of disappointing. It tastes just like Connecticut. It's like, no, this is no light. This is Connecticut. So it tastes just like Connecticut. But it's actually less creamy and less sweet than any other Connecticut I smoke. Oh, I'm not saying, you know, it shouldn't be any other, some other better ones that I like. But this one, nothing. Cedar. If you ride your hill, you get a little bit of sweetness. That's pretty much it. 
The creaminess is gone. I don't know. There's nothing to it. There is nothing to it. I guess the opening hyped it up. <laughs> but, but this thing is like... Uh, I don't know. I really think nothing changed other than the band. They decorated a little bit more and that's pretty much it. If you like box press, the draw is good. It's, it's pretty loose draw. I liked it. But no, the loose draw, you would think that you get more smoke, more flavor. That didn't happen. That did not happen. I don't know. People need to let me know if they like it because I think this is no different than any other normal. So got, in fact, I think the smaller size of Sober Mesa probably had more taste than this one. Probably. Just a little bit. Than this one. This the, this recap dip on this one didn't even last. Like, you know, when I started out wetting the cap, that's pretty much taking away all the, all the sweetness. That might be something that people will like because that sweet cap makes it sweet cap. And some people don't even like sweet cap because that chemical -y fake uh, sugar that's on there the sweetness but you know that goes away really quickly and now the cigar tastes like a medium strength um cedar there is um another flavor in there um it's like licorice ish kind of thing going on I'm pepper and pepper whenever I don't pay attention the pepper always gets me and that's pretty much it I mean it's a relaxing cigar but with package like this you don't want a relaxing cigar you want something crazy you know I don't know Lester be right back I'm trying to think of some BS that I can make this sound good. But and there's nothing that can make this sound good. Uh, it's a cigar that has a lot of smoke output. But it's bland, it's boring. Now the last has a little bit of that, I don't know, burn plastic taste to it and I thought with the band so I removed the band it still <laughs> tastes like plastic I don't know it doesn't taste good uh, I don't know why people buy this uh, you're much better off just buy the regular sober missile like really uh, it, this thing the cigar dojo do you really okay with putting your name on this thing this this cigar is trash <laughs> it's so bad it's so boring. But anyways, here's a, here's a cigar band with the cigar dojo on it. And here's the, the band with that green. So the only thing they really changed is the color. So the only good thing about the cigar is the color. The color looks great. But if you ever ate a wagashi, spend the money on it and enjoyed it in a dessert store, you smoke this, you're like, what the hell is this thing called wagashi for? It's not even sweet. It's not even nice. It doesn't taste like bean paste of some any sort. It doesn't taste like ah. Uh... Busa, calm down, Tony. It's not a good cigar. I'll give it seven bucks. Seven bucks, and I think that's more more than what it's worth already. Seven bucks. For a Connecticut cigar to taste this boring with almost median strength, it's pretty sad for that. For whatever price range they are, they drop like seventeen something. For for that price, that's ridiculous, ridiculous. Only reasons why it's so expensive is because DTT needs to make some money, cigar dojo needs to make some money, and that's pretty much it. Like that, there, there. Oof. Ah. Uh... Yeah, not a good cigar. Skip it. Or just buy the regular Super Mesa. The regular Super Mesa is actually a little bit better. It, it really is. Uh, I think it's cheaper too. I think super, regular Super Mesa is what, 12 bucks? Something like that. It's a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Just skip this one altogether. It's gimmicky. The gimmick didn't even fit. Didn't even fit. 
They just choose a name. Unfortunately, this thing is not sweet, not cool, not good. Definitely not Wagashi. Cigar Dojo, for you using the, the, the word Wagashi on this thing, it's an insult. It's an insult to the craftsmanship and artesian worksmanship of Wagashi. It's an insult. So, I said skip it. Seven bucks at most. This is cigar's worth. Not a good one. Not a good one. But big thanks to Lotus sending me the cigar to try. Because if I never try, I probably will never buy. <laughs> and I will still never buy. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this cigar review. I hope you like it. If you like it, like, subscribe, and uh, share, comment. If you like this cigar, I would like to know why you like this cigar. Because it boggles my mind. Like, I smoke this, it's so boring. I, it, I don't know why. I don't know why people like this cigar. And good thing it's a limited release because if this didn't keep selling, it will never sell. It will just stack and it's nowhere and then become nothing. I really think so. I really think so. So, yeah. So anyway, that's it for the cigar review. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.